Good morning, everyone. This is really awesome, is it not? It's good to see all of you up here. All right. You know what we're going to do this morning? We're going to play a game. And to start with, it's going to be me against her. Yeah. Are you ready? Sure you are. The game is tic tac toe. All right? Yes. Now, so you know, all games have rules, right? Here's the rules for tic tac toe. The pastor goes first, and I get to be X. Okay? All right. You guys ready for this? Okay, cool. Here we go. Are you excited? The temptation is building. Oh, so you know, in the first game, the person with the X, it's an extra turn. So here's my one turn, there's my another turn, I win. It's the rules. It's the rules. Now, now hold on, do you want to play another game? Yes, you do. Because listen, the rules say in the second game, I get to be O, you get to be X, and you go first. All right? All right. You're X. I'm sure. See, look on the screen. It's the rules. Go ahead. Now, I get to be O, but unfortunately in the second game, O gets two extra turns. Wait a minute, we're not done. I won again. Do you, do, do you really... Do you really want to play another game? Look, it's the rules. Do you really want to play? You want to play another game? Well, in, in the third game, I get three turns in a row. You're right, I am cheating, aren't I? I'm, I'm cheating a lot. I'm changing the rules, aren't I? And that's what Jesus is complaining to the Pharisees about. God has laws, God has commandments, God has rules, and they were changing them. They were changing them so they could appear to be in right standing with God, so they could appear to be humble and repentant, yet they were only doing it with their hands. They weren't doing it with their heart. They were creating all these rules to show that they were better and more faithful than anybody else, but it was a lie because their hearts stood against them. And we kind of do the same thing sometimes. We like to change God's rules. We say, well, I'll obey this rule, I'll obey being obedient to my mom and dad except when I have to clean my room and I don't want to do it. Or except when I'm tired. Except when they want me to do something and I don't want to do it. So we change God's rules too. You know what happens when you change the rules? Do you win? You lose. When we don't obey, obey God's rules, we lose. None of us can obey God's rules, so every single person here, as far as life goes, would lose. Except you don't lose. Because Jesus came and obeyed all the rules for you. He came and obeyed all of God's commandments as far as life goes. He never sinned. And he did it for each one of you. And he wanted to give that to you as a gift because he knew you can't obey the rules. And that's what he did on the cross. He died to take your loss, your punishment for not following the rules. He died your death. And then in baptism gave each one of you his victory for life. Forgiving you for all the times that you didn't follow the rules. And when God looks at you, he says, winner, 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 winner. And even you, winner. And all of y'all, winner. Because you have Jesus Christ. You have his victory over sin, death, and hell. And on the last day, you'll be welcomed into the grand prize of all prizes, eternal life. That's what Jesus did for me, and he did for each one of you. He won for you, so that you, on the last day, would not be declared a loser and worthy of death. 
And that's worthy of us praying and thanking him for, isn't it? So let's do that. Let's pray, and you can repeat after me. Dear Jesus, in many ways, I don't follow rules. Therefore, I would lose. But you won for me. You obeyed the rules. And you give to me what you won on the cross, eternal life and forgiveness. Thank you for this gift. Keep it alive in me all the days of my life. In your name, amen. Thank you all very much for coming up. You have two choices. You can go back to your parents or you can follow Miss Chrissy if your parents say okay out and she'll take you back for Children's Church.